What's going on, you guys? Today we are doing a head movement focused workout. Most boxers don't realize how much energy head movement uses up, how energy intensive head movement is. And so a bit of focus conditioning on head movement can go a long way in improving your stamina, especially if you have a style that requires a lot of head movement. This workout is two six minute rounds. Every 30 seconds, we will change our focus to a different exercise or a different drill. For the first round through, you just want to try to follow along, catch it as best as you can. But by the second round, you should be in the groove and should have caught on to everything. If not, go at your own pace. And by the second or third time through this workout, you'll be flying, working it smooth. Now, the first exercise coming up is two slips in a row. Slip left and right or right and left. Move, take a few seconds in between and go again and you work at your own pace. Time in, slip left, slip right. Looking forward, focus forward. Then a slip right, slip left. This is more conditioning than it is tactical, although you can use two slips in a row tactically. Slip left and right. Slip right and left. Get in as many as you can. You work it at your pace. You wanna go constant, you go constant. Coming up next is two ducks in a row. Ready, duck, duck, two in a row. Now you can roll with it a little bit or you can drop straight down. Dropping straight down is quicker but gives you less momentum or less leverage for a counter. Rolling with a shot sets up a better counter but sometimes it takes a little more time, it all depends. Working the two ducks in a row, work it. Nice, nice. Coming up is two pulls in a row to evade back. Work the motion. Here we go. Pull, pull. Now you can stay more bladed or you can kind of square up if you want. Depends on your style. If you're working more a peekaboo style like a Canelo, you can work the pull in a square position. If you're more like a Mayweather, more like an Ali, you stay a little more bladed. Just get used to the body motion. Keep the chin down, eyes forward. Pull, pull. Coming up next is slip, duck, or pull, singular. Anything you want, either you slip, or you duck, or you pull, and you keep working, you keep working through, you can move a little bit in between. As if a shot comes, you slip it. Another shot, you duck. Another shot, you pull. Work it. Stay in your groove, stay as busy as you can. Make sure you're looking forward, hands up, chin down, relax, smooth motion. Coming up with slip and counter. Ready, slip counter. So you can slip to the left, throw the lead hook, slip to the right, throw the right hand. If you're southpaw, you slip to the left, you still throw the straight left. Slip to the right, throw the right hook, or whatever you want. You can throw in an uppercut, a straight punch. Smooth, connected together, the slip and counter. Focus, focus, move in between. Ready, pull counter. Pull back, just get that motion in there. It doesn't have to be too fast or too crisp, just work the motion. Pull counter, stay busy with it. The better you are, the faster, the smoother it will be, the more practice and time you put in. We wanna condition it, get our body adapted. Pull, counter with the right hand. Pull, counter with the jab. Pull, counter with the one, two, you work it. Duck and counter. Duck, come out of the shot, boom, come up. Imagine the opponent throws a hook, overhand right, you drop, you duck under, boom, you come back with that counter. Duck counter, looking forward. Duck counter, work it, move in between, hands up, chin down, breathing. Slip and pivot. You can step with the slip and pivot or just slip and pivot out. If you slip to the inside, let's say if you're orthodox and you're going counterclockwise, it's almost more like a little dip. Slip, dip, you just kind of drop down, pivot through. This is very effective on the inside when you're trying to get away, slip and pivot. Work it, work it. Slip and pivot, work it, nice. Four-way ducking drill, forward, back, to the left, to the right, 
forward, back, to the left, to the right. Stay alive with those feet. Four-way ducking drill. Keep working it, keep working it. Take a break if you need it, move around. Good work, good work. Punch, punch, slip coming up. Ready, punch, punch, slip, punch, punch, slip. Two punches, then slip, two punches, then slip. Work it. Punch, punch, slip, punch, punch, slip. Make sure you're looking forward, chin down, be relaxed. Take a little break if you need it for a few seconds. Reset, you go again. Punch, punch, slip. That's it, that's it. Hook, hook, duck coming up next. Two hooks and a duck and we keep going. Ready, hook, hook, duck. Hook, hook, duck and you roll with that shot. Hook, hook, duck. Do three, four, five in a row, then take a little break, bop around. And then go again. Hook, hook, duck. Hook, hook, duck. Nice, smooth movement. Speed though, work it. Great job, great job, keep going. Next is head movement flow, coming up. Head movement flow, you're in the matrix. Slipping punches, ducking punches, pulling. Try to stay in a constant flow. Moving the head, moving the head, you can't be touched. Working the pull, pull and slip, dip, come through, pivot, work it. Head movement, footwork together. Just keep that head flowing. Make sure you're looking forward at your opponent. Even if you pivot or turn, you still want to know where they are. Don't look at the ground. Don't look away. And there it is. Great job. One round in the books. Now, if you found that a little bit difficult, if you're getting adapted or because you weren't sure exactly what I was going to call, now the second round through, you can work on it and do a little bit better. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time through. You can always come back to this workout as many times as you want. The goal is to push the intensity as much as you can each time. Now, if you like this workout, you really want to get the most out of your head movement, I have a four-day head movement training series in the membership. Link is down below, or you can click the join button on the channel. We take what we're doing here and we push it to the next level for four different days, four different challenging workouts. So make sure to check that out. Otherwise, breathe and relax. We're going to work this round one more time through 15 seconds. Get a sip of water and relax. We'll get going in a little bit. Coming up, slip times two. Let's get ready in a few seconds. Time in, slip, slip. Make sure they're quick and smooth, but full motions. Don't make them choppy. Slip, slip. This takes a lot out of the core. The legs have to stabilize you. It's very energy intensive. Use up more energy than most people realize. Slip, slip, and then move. And you're working that head movement even when I'm not calling it. You're working it, you're busy. Slip, slip. Slip left and right, and then right and then left. Ducks, two ducks in a row, duck, duck. This is lower back, this is legs, this is everything. You gotta put it together. Duck, duck. You gotta have that balance. You gotta have that recoil to get the counter going for later, but just work the motion for now. You don't want this to be the reason you get tired in your sparring and your fights. So you wanna condition it. Pull, pull, two pulls in a row. One would be enough tactically for most situations, but we're working the motion to get the conditioning. So you pull, pull. Keep working it. Make sure to keep the chin down when you pull. You can drop that lead hand if you want. If you're bladed, just make sure to keep the rear hand up, have a little protection. Helps with a little bit of leverage. Slip, duck, or pull, quickly, one at a time. Slip, then you duck, then you pull, and then you move and you go again. Pick another one and you go. Pick another one and you go. Slip, duck, or pull. Keep working it, keep working it. Challenge yourself. Coming up is slip counter. Ready, focus forward, head movement counter, put it together, slip counter. 
Slip counter, work it. Slip the shot, then you counter. Keep working it, keep working it, stay busy. Be smooth, be smooth, feel it, put it together. Slip counter, your pace. Next is a pull counter. Here we are, the shot comes out, you pull counter. You can pull with a jab, pull and counter with a jab, pull and counter with the right hand. Pull and counter with the one, two. You can pull and counter with the lead hook. Get those motions down, get the movements down. The more you work it, the faster it will be. Then you bring it to sparring, improve your reaction, your timing. Make sure you have the conditioning, make sure you're capable. Coming up is duck counter. Duck counter, you get under the shot, you come back up. Then the other side, duck and you come back up. Keep working it as many as you can get in there, but move and breathe in between if you need a little bit of a break, that's okay. There we are, there we are. Make sure you're looking forward. Still have your chin down. You don't have to be looking up necessarily, just looking forward. Slip and pivot, be smooth. Slip the shot, pivot out, create the angle. This is more from in close or just in range. Slip, pivot, dip and pivot. Work both directions. You really can create that angle in close with the slip and pivot. Slip, pivot, dip, and pivot. Four-way ducking drill. Forward, back, left, right. Keep the feet alive. Head, moving, footwork together. Work it together at the same time. Keep working, keep working. Move around if you need a little break there. And then you go again, forward, back, left, right. This is using up a lot of energy from the legs and the lower back and the core. Punch, punch, slip, coming up. Ready, go. Punch, punch, slip, punch, punch, slip, punch, punch, slip. Get in as many as you can before you need a little break. Take your little break. And then you go again. Punch, punch, slip, punch, punch, slip. And then breathe and relax. And then go in another little burst. Punch, punch, slip. That's it, that's it. Great work, great work. Get in as much as you can. Hook, hook, duck, coming up. Here we are, hook, hook, duck under. Hook, hook, duck under. Hook, hook, duck under. And then take a little break. And then you go again. Hook, hook, duck. Hook, hook, duck. Work it, work it, work it. Nice work, nice work. Take a break if you need it. Reset, take a breath, and then you go. Hook, hook, duck. Final one, head movement flow. You're in the matrix. Slip a shot, duck under. The opponent is throwing combos like crazy. You're moving, you're evading. Don't worry if it's perfect. Just keep the head moving. Evasive, evasive. Condition it, condition it. Work it for when you need it. Keep going, keep going. Pivot, turn if you need to. Create space. And time, there it is. Excellent work, you guys, excellent work. Head movement is very demanding on the body. It requires a lot from the legs, requires a lot from the core. And if you don't condition it, you're gonna get yourself into sparring or a fight when you need that head movement it won't be there for you as the rounds go on because it'll be too taxing on the body. So we do a little bit of separate focus conditioning to really bring up your capacity for head movement so it doesn't become the bottleneck in your boxing. It doesn't become the thing that drags you down. You're able to execute the head movement that you need, maintain the stamina that you need so you can keep working the rest of your offense and your counters and the rest of your game. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Remember to check out the series in the membership at level four boxing training camps. Level four boxing training camps. The head movement series is there. Links down below. Join button on the channel. Great job, you guys. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.